everyone and welcome back to Sonia's Prep. In this week's video, I'm going to take you along and share with you my Rosh Hashanah menu, what I choose to make, the kinds of appetizers, mains, and even desserts. And I'm also including some salads here. I hope you guys all enjoy this video. And if you do, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Now let's get into the video. Using an app on my phone this year, I decided to make up a Rosh Hashanah menu that looks really nice and pretty. You can also print this out and put it on each table setting if you like, but this was really cool and I really like doing it. I always have so much fun with the Rosh Hashanah tablescape. This year I actually got a new set because my old set was missing so many pieces. I got uh, different plates and platters and I definitely have everything linked for you in my Amazon storefront. I actually teased this portion on Instagram and all of you went crazy for it and really liked it. I always enjoy trying to decorate the table with all of the Rosh Hashanah Simanim like pomegranates, figs, apples. I also had some pumpkins in there and it just made for a very beautiful festive table. No need to go crazy on other decorations. Just use all of the other elements that you have already in your home to make your tablescape look gorgeous. Now that our tablescape and our menu is all set, let's get prepping. For starters, we're going to be making some lamb soup. I fill up a pot of water, place some lamb meat inside, take, skim off all of the dirt from the top of it, and chop off any desired vegetables. I'll be using celery, green pepper, onion, carrots, and potatoes. I love having soup during any type of meal. I just think it's a great starter. I season it to taste with salt, chicken consomme seasoning, and black pepper, cumin and coriander, and dill, of course. Next up, stuffed onions. This is the way that I cut it, and here I am demonstrating it for you. I take the tops and bottoms off, place my knife into the center and cut straight down, but we don't cut through the entire onion as I'm showing you right here. Um, after that's done, I just peel off the skin, and that is basically it. After all the onions have been cleaned and cut, I place them into some cold water. Turn on the fire and let that boil. Check on it every five minutes. Make sure to not overcook them. It needs to just have a little give in them and that's how you know it's ready. While that's cooling, I'm going to be taking a skillet or a pot, dropping in about two tablespoons of oil, a little bit of meat and your favorite tomato sauce. So let that sit over there, let the onions cool off and we're going to be starting on our next meal. If you haven't seen last year's Rosh Hashanah meal plan and meal prep video, definitely check it out. I made the same recipe using a duck and here I am doing the exact same thing using a chicken. So take your favorite types of fruits. I'm using a red apple, green apple, oranges and some figs. I'm going to be stuffing all of that into the chicken. I season the chicken like I normally would anytime I'm making it for Shabbat. So just some salt, black pepper, paprika, and some chicken seasoning over the top. I then stuff the chicken with the oranges, different apples, and celery, as you, I'm going to be showing you right now. I place all of the other fruits all around the chicken as well. I get asked quite often on the channel where my kids are when I'm doing these videos and when I'm prepping. So here is a snippet that I decided to keep in here just to show you real life moments of cooking in the kitchen like we all have. So there, my two kids over there are trying to get a snack from the fridge. How sweet is Aviva helping her little brother out? This is just real life and I thought this was so cute and wanted to keep it in here. Thank you. 
Back to cooking, I'm going to be glazing the top of the chicken with pomegranate sauce and some soy sauce. And generally when we're making our Rosh Hashanah meal, we try to add in some of the simanim, like uh, the pomegranate, apples, or honey into what we're cooking, which is just more festive. And the pomegranate sauce and the soy sauce is going to add a nice dark and rich color to the chicken. Once that is nice and glazed and I've mixed it all through, I'm going to just be topping the entire top of it with some cilantro. You can definitely skip this step or add parsley instead. I then spray in some oil over the top, cover it with parchment paper and then the foil just because I don't want the foil to be touching the actual food and I'm going to just be baking it. I put it into a preheated oven set at 400 degrees, covered for one hour, and then later on, I'll be uncovering it, basting it, and placing it back in the oven to get that deep golden rich color. For the stuffed onion stuffing, this is what I do. I have about a pound of ground meat with about a half a cup of rice. I add in some chopped cilantro or parsley. I then food process one tomato and one green apple. I place that all into the food processor with the attachment of shredding it and then place all of that back into the filling and mix it all through with very minimal seasoning just salt and black pepper chicken consomme seasoning if you would like i then add in my favorite tomato sauce i'm just using this brand right here i'm not really sure how to pronounce it properly so i'm not gonna say it i mix it thoroughly and separately now now that the onions are all cooled off i'm taking each of the slices of um, onions off and i'll show you just how i wrap it all up My big helper Aviva is in the kitchen and she's begging me to do this as well. I feel weird always when they have to touch raw meat, but she really was adamant about it. So I sent her to wash her hands and she's back and I'm just going to be guiding her along and showing her how to properly stuff the onions and wrap them up and she was definitely very excited to participate. This channel is all about my Orthodox Jewish life and I show here Shabbat meal preps and holiday inspirations and general tips and tricks as a busy working mom on how to manage the many things that are on our plates. And if you enjoy this type of content, I would love it if you would consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the notification bell to be made aware of my future uploads. I would love to have you be a part of the prep family here on YouTube. After about an hour, I remove the foil from the chicken and place it back into the oven to get that gorgeous brown color and check on it every 30 minutes. Now that all of the onions have been stuffed, I'm placing in my favorite tomato sauce over the top with a little bit of water. The water should just about reach the tops of the onions, but not too much because the onion itself is going to release a lot of water itself. I place that on the fire, add in some cilantro over the top, put some honey right over the top as well. Normally I would add a little bit of sugar, but because it's Rosh Hashanah time, I'm going to add in a drizzle of honey and then cover it with the lid and let it cook for hours. Many of you always request to see how I plate everything and how I would showcase this on my Shabbat tables or my holiday tables. So here it is. Here is a little snippet of how I would do this. I'm also going to take the time here and just talk with you a little bit. So Rosh Hashanah, as we all know, is a time of new beginning where the upcoming year is going to be decided by God. Everything from our health to our wealth would be decided on this amazingly awesome day. And I strongly believe in prayer and positive affirmations. Let's use the comment section of this video to bless each other with goodness and positivity and fill it with your hopes and dreams for the year ahead. I'm wishing all of you preppers, all of my preppers here, lots of health and happiness in the world. May only goodness be showered upon you in this new year.
Thank you so much for watching this part one of my Rosh Hashanah menu. I was going back and forth if I should include everything in one video, but I just decided to split it into part two is going to be even better. So don't forget to tune in, click on the notification bell to be made aware of when that video will go live. Part two will feature the sides, salads, and desserts. And trust me, you don't want to miss it. Shana Tova and Happy New Year from my family to yours.